Shalom. First of all, take a ball glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, or Kakadash. Double honor to teachers, elders, and apostles of Great Millstone. Likewise, brothers, putting out this truth. Faithfully, fearlessly, feeding the sheep and two brothers and sisters. Tuning in, Shalom. Today's lesson title Deserving Sorrows for Edom, which we know Great Babylon, America, aka United States of America, is part of the Edomite Empire, which is the so called white race. Okay? Let's go into the first scripture here. This is the book of 2nd Andrew 15. And Star Wars 10, it says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt, which we know this place is spiritual Sodom and Egypt. You will work to death here. And on top of that, as if that's not bad enough, you have to deal with the Sodomite agenda, okay, that is in everything cultural here in great babylon america says with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof egypt shall mourn and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment that power should bring on it now you saw in that opening clip you saw it where it says donald trump says that a great depression is coming he's right well he's only right in his own mind the lord has something extraordinarily devious and grievous for this place so okay basically the way he's saying it is actually having you people in a soothing state of mind because you remember that there was a depression in the united states before and you overcame that and the united states became the place or the nation to imitate up until now where these nations are now despising this place okay now let's take a look at the elephant in the room here because as you can see with this clip here where it shows this eve okay what appears to be eve is comforting this jake man okay okay first of all you so-called black man okay this is a fantasy okay this is not going to be the case these women are not going to comfort you in fact they're going to be looking for you to comfort them Besides that, we are still under the curses. This is due to Romy 28 and 56 because chances are you useless niggas will not have a, have a confident woman. The Lord is not going to give you a confident woman in this time, okay? It says, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes should be evil towards her husband or her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter and that's because why these women okay have been seduced by esau the Edomite, the so-called white man okay you know he's providing you know social welfare for them you know he's putting them in positions that they okay and he's taking care of them basically if the man even talk hard to to the woman okay esau sends his sentries there to put that man to death and i'm talking about just jake's here okay so don't expect okay these wicked women okay to comfort you jace okay that is only going to be the case for the men of the lord in fact the men of the lord is going to be the ones that the women are going to be coming to for protection in this time that's coming because when you take a look okay and as you can see playing in the background here all of these things that's going to be taking place here with the collapse of the economy okay you see these companies shutting down you see wars uh picking up all over the place you see in civil wars that's brewing here in great babylon america it's going to lead to a lot of debt and starvation and a lot of heavy stress that people have never dealt with in their life let's take a look at the book of work uh the book uh proverbs 29 and 2 it says when the righteous are in authority which the righteous are not the people rejoice now you people are going to have to wait until you know jeremiah 16 and 16 when we come down grab all of those damn elites out of their bunkers you know chain them up put them into slavery okay and all the rest of you nations are going to go into slavery too but guess what you're actually still going to be happy because it's going to be slavery and righteousness not the way esau did it to us it says the people rejoice but when the wicked bear it rule the people mourning and right now everybody is mourning this place is in great depth it's in depth okay your credit system or you the way your credit is evaluated here in great babylon is america is that you have to be in constant debt which means what you would have to be constantly working hence for spiritual egypt okay which is symbolic of slavery okay this is why you see everybody is in that position right now living beyond the means of what they were capable of but this is just the way it is here in great babylon america it's what's pushed forward let's go on to second address six and star wars 22 because we gotta look at the current situation that we are in and where this is going to go into because if you people think that somehow is some some way somehow 
you're going to be the lucky one to get through this. That's not going to be the case. It says, and suddenly shall the stone places appear on stone. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Why? You have logistics breakdown. If people aren't buying, businesses go to business. You have the elites that are turning around and working with the farmers to destroy their crops. You have the elites who are turning around and buying cropland and then not putting crops on it. You know, they're looking to, um, you know, really push out their lab created food, which is basically just poison. Okay. And, you know, they can get people, everybody to take the poison willingly, you know, what they call the V jabs and those so they're going to put it in the food the food that you're going to be eating soon is going to be the v jab in itself okay it says and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man hear it they should be suddenly afraid no more food you got wars going on you know um hey what's going on with the food in the grocery store here hey what's going on here you know um why is there no more job being created okay why is these robots taking over everything okay they're saying that it's going to make everything efficient but you know who's who's got what now it says at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear and those that dwell therein the springs of the fountain shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run so if you have a friend look at your friend right now your friend is going to become your enemy you better get it in your head right now okay that everyone around you that's smiling right now shaking your hands giving you hugs and kisses meeting you up for happy hour are going to turn on you okay if you don't believe me Go down any day to the gun store and you will see a line of people arming themselves to the T because they understand there is a situation here in America right now as we speak. Let's go into second Ezra chapter 16 starting verse 17 because why would you have the prophet so spazzing, spazzing out? Basically, he's like, whoa, 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 it's me who will deliver me in those days. Talking about a future time. So this prophet may be alive today. It could be any one of the brothers right now. No, nobody knows, okay, which prophet they are. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mourning. This is the beginning? Okay, these collapse, you know, the, the sudden collapse of the dollar, the yen, uh, you know, all of these other currencies across the earth. Because once the American dollar falls, all our other currencies are going to fall. When America goes down, so will all the other nations. Why? Because this is a country that ex that imports, okay, imports. It's a, it, it, it it buys. So if they're not, if this nation is not buying the goods of these other nations, then they too are gonna starve, okay. But we like to focus here on Great Babylon, America, because this is the place of jollity where everybody think that nothing is going to happen bad here, and it's just another bad times, so economic downfall. We'll get through it, and this is always the saying. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great debt. Now, why did it say the word great debt? Okay, that should tell you. Okay, when you have problems and people don't have enough, and I just read to you in Second Ezra six, uh, six and twenty, start verse twenty-two, where it talks about what friends start, friends turn against each other. So this is no longer going to be a, a, a place where only burglars or just some psycho killer coming around to your house, you know, to kill you. This is going to be your friends who are going to say, "Yo, yo." Hey, you gonna share that with me or what? If not, they're gonna try to take it from you. And in that case, you may have to delete them or they're gonna delete you for it. Sooner or later, as people start to get put to death in the millions, people will start to pick up those arms and say, you know what, I gotta do what I gotta do. And that's gonna be the mentality, me, myself, and I. It says the beginning of wars and the power shall stand and fear the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Now we know as the men of the Lord, Yahabah Shemesh is what? Okay, we are in that preparation state right now. Our mind is being prepared. Our, our loins are being girded up. Okay, because we have to be men. This is not going to be a time where women are going to be standing up front. That's, that's currently right now. These are the last few times, okay, or we're in those last days of women being bold. Okay, they are going to be humble dramatically, okay, to where they're supposed to be. And unfortunately for a lot of men, okay, you're going to be worse than the women. All right, unless you know this truth and trusting in the Lord Yahweh to get you through this, everybody else is going to be on their own. It's going to be like the Serengeti out here in Great Babylon, America. Okay, wolf against wolf. Okay, wolf against bunny rabbits. It's going to be predators and prey. That's all it's going to be. It says, "The whole famine and plague, tribulation, anguish are set as a scorch for amendment." Imagine the fact that we have never seen this place like like what we see 
in those other countries like in Africa where, you know, you get people just riding around and pick up trucks and just slaughtering entire villages and stuff like that. Except over here, you have cities, okay, and counties. And this is what's going to be going on. It's going to be from the government. It's going to be from these um, people that they bring across the border, you know, these these these, these uh, mercenaries. And it's going to be yourself or, or your your local born uh, what they quote, quote unquote, terrorists, okay, or just an everyday man. It's just going to turn into a savage beast. You're going to have to. It said, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be mindful of the scourges. Our people will never turn for the simple reason. Esau has an answer for everything. Oh, it'll get better. Okay, I'm going to fix it. I got a, I got a solution for you. Hey, Esau, the so-called white man, the caveman, the abominable caveman, always has a solution. So why would they, why would they change? And, and, and it's also going to be different. You know, it's going to be classes. You're going to have people who are going to have it much more worse than others. So guess what? Just like now, if you don't have it, you don't have it. You're still in the famine right now. You can't buy food. But then you look around, people drive around and, you know, hunt $200,000 vehicles and have big houses and, you know, expensive jewelry on like that. And it's like, what the hell? You know, they have more, they wear more expensive jewelry on their body than what your whole entire network is. Okay. And this is how it is for certain people here. Okay, in Great Bible on America. So it says, but for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness, nor be mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals should be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. We're currently in that situation right now. Even then, should evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Look at this, man. You don't think that this is going to lead to that? Look at what's happening. A country that's in debt. Okay, so something's got to give. It says, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So even if you escape the famine, you have some food, maybe you all get together, whatever the case is like that, you know, you have the sword. Okay, because why? If you have it, somebody else is looking to take it. And people are not going to be in a sharing spirit. You don't believe it? Let's go into Matthew uh, 10, starting verse 34. It says, Think not that I come to send peace on earth. This is the Mashiach. I come not to send peace, but a sword. This is death. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foe should be that of his household. Now, I showed you in the first video where, you know, this Eve, or what looks like an Eve, is hugging this Jake, you know, a so-called Negro. Okay, that's a fantasy. Okay, that's not going to happen because why? We're still under the curses. Now, you have the righteous women that the Lord, Yahweh is going to give to the men of the Lord, not to you worthless niggas out there. Okay, not to you useless, worthless niggas. You didn't put into this, man. Okay, you didn't put into it. The law doesn't give a crap about your ass. Okay, so that's why two thirds is going to be taken out, mainly men and you wicked ass women and you worthless ass demonic little children. Okay, and it's going to be few men that he's going to save and a whole lot of women because they're going to be there. They could really be saved for childbearing and the children. Okay, and the other men that support support the ministry. Okay, uh, I'm believing you. How about you, man? But for the rest of you damn worthless niggas say that, you can cry like that. These women gonna look at you and they may put your ass to damn death. The spirit may jump in them. Okay, so there's not gonna be no uh, friendship in the household. There ain't gonna be no let's get together and work things out. Like that, as we saw in Second Address 6 and 22. Okay, hey, people can be turning on each other, friends. This is how it's going to be. And let's conclude with the fact that we are under wicked rulership. Okay, a man so devious and so evil that they don't even care about their own people. There was a time that we would never see these crackers, okay, in the situation they're in right now. And here we are looking at them. And in a lot of cases, they're a hell of a lot worse off than Jake's. How the hell you been working, you know, a, 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 a mid-career level job or being a middle-class uh, Edomite, and now here you are, you can't even afford a, a one month's rent. You're going to be under a damn bridge, okay? And this is how it is. It says, he that is evil, this is Ecclesiastes 14, and Cyrus 5, it says, he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Nobody. He shall not take pleasure in his goods. There's none worse than he that envied himself, and this is a recompense of wickedness. So these crackers, they always turn on each other, man. You can see them, you see that in the video, you know, in, in the so-called White House or Congress, how they look and go, how the hell are we getting to all this stuff? What do you mean, how the hell are we going to all this stuff? Y'all weren't asking that question 20 years ago when America was on top. Okay, when y'all was just, you know, going these frivolous wars and stuff like that. Y'all wasn't asking those questions. Why are you asking those questions now? It's because it's impacting each and every one of you individually. See, at the end of the day, unless you're an elite, you just a dug on another worker. Okay? That's all these guys are. Just another worker. So y'all are envious of each other. Obviously, there's going to be a civil war. Okay, you're going to look at fight. You have, the, you have the talk right now of the division of this nation and how 
the only way we can square things off is if we rise up against each other so you're divided and it says and if he do it good he do it unwillingly and at the last he will declare his wickedness and this is what esau has always done jake y'all have trusted him and he's always turned around and stab you in the back in the front in the neck in the eye and, and up your ass because why you niggas walk around with your head up your ass because you don't listen to the counsel of the man that the lord yahweh has set up to save you Lord willing, the lack of certified close up by giving all credit on to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh by Shemer Kadash Shalom.